So cutaneous lymphomas are a subtype of uh, peripheral T-cell lymphoma. So they're called cutaneous lymphoma because they involve mainly the skin. And they are extremely rare. It is estimated that probably it's about 3,000 patients diagnosed with cutaneous lymphoma every year. But the prevalence is much higher because this, is, this disease is a chronic disease, more of an indolent type of disease. The diagnosis of cutaneous T-cell lymphoma is made by uh, doing a skin biopsy. Most of these patients are actually seen at first by a dermatologist and uh, the diagnosis is made, as I said, by a skin biopsy. Sometimes patients have to undergo multiple biopsy because the diagnosis can be really challenging. Sometimes the first biopsy is not really giving uh, a right diagnosis, so patients have to have repeat biopsy, which could be very frustrating. So for patients with early stage, we uh, use uh, skin-directed therapy mainly, which is either topical creams or uh, sometimes radiation therapy. There are also a number of uh, uh, biologics that are used in this disease. Uh, one of them is interferon, and uh, uh, another type of treatment is retinoid, so vitamin A um, type of compounds and they can be uh, in form of peel or even a cream for patient with early stage. Another option for patient with early stage is light therapy. For patient with advanced stage, we pretty much use the same type of treatment options that we use uh, in patient with systemic uh, peripheral T-cell lymphoma. So there are also drugs that are approved for this disease like in, uh, in peripheral T-cell lymphoma, HDAC inhibitors, are a class of the drugs that are approved for cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. And the two actually that are approved are uh, Vorinostat, and, which is an oral formulation, and Dromidepsin, uh, which is an uh, intravenous formulation. For patients uh, with advanced stage disease also, uh, the problem is that none of the treatments that are available are curative. So if patient is considered eligible, or candidate, sometimes we offer a stem cell transplantation uh, from a donor. That's also an area of uh, research in uh, cutaneous T cell lymphoma, which I think is a very important one. Clinical trials are extremely important in cutaneous T cell lymphoma as, uh, because this is a very rare disease. So the standard treatment is not really very effective, so we are in need of finding more effective regimens, and that can be done through clinical trials. So clinical trials are very important because sometimes patients can have access to drugs that are not approved yet, and also the treatment on clinical trials sometimes is better monitored in terms of side effects. The disadvantage of clinical trials is that sometimes we don't know the efficacy of a specific drug and sometimes we can face some unknown side effects. But definitely clinical trials are extremely important and I almost always offer uh, the possibility of clinical trial as an option to patients with cutaneous T-cell lymphoma. So the Lymphoma Research Foundation has many, many resources that are available to patients with uh, lymphomas in general and also for patients with T-cell lymphoma. So there are many, many resources on uh, the website. So there are links uh, to uh, written information, so some general information about T-cell lymphoma and more specifically uh, for cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, resources about how to search for a clinical trial, how to search for an academic center of excellence uh, in, uh, in T-cell lymphomas, and also uh, ways uh, to connect with other patients affected with this disease, which I think is very important in a disease that is so rare.